Hi guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're already subscribed, thanks for coming back. For those of you that have watched my haul video, you would have seen that I got this pouch slash pencil case from AliExpress. And I think the total altogether came to about £6. And it got to me so, so quick. So I pulled it up on my phone. These are different colours you can get. There are also other ones that are like pink and you can get any colour you want. It might not be the same brand but it's exactly the same pencil case. And it's £3.73 currently with £1.59 uh, shipping or it's free if you spend over £8.16. And as you can see these are the colours. Now this is the one thing. These are also... The measurements, so you've got the measurements, these are some of the ways that they're packed, so I'm just trying to get to better pictures of the colours, so green, a grey, a pink, a pe sorry, a green, like a grey, a beige and a white. Now the one thing I would do differently is get a different colour and for how cheap they are, like I might get a few and just spend £8 over eight pounds to get the free shipping and it came like less than a week uh, because this is it's just getting dirty really really quickly um i don't know why i buy i bought cream but i did i just wanted to give you a comparison to some other pouches as well that i've got so this is will that actually fit in there probably so this is a gray delphonics the medium, I mean, and this pouch fits in that pouch. And this pouch is arguably more, more organised than you can get a Delphonics pouch. I have also got the uh, Planner Spot pouch, which I absolutely love. Um, a lot of the stuff, I'd say height-wise, it's the same. This one's a little bit higher, I think, and a little bit more chunkier but this has been my ride or die since I got this zip up one and the reason I got the zip up one is I love a pouch I love looking at a pouch like this I love all the pins and everything but when you chuck this in a bag all of this falls out and I know you can put it all in the zip but then there's no organization if you know what I mean and organization for me is key so if I was to open this up this way now it's going to be upside down so you have to flip it over which I don't know why they didn't just put the tag there you have to flip it over to open it so I flipped it over and I open it and it's the right way but if I was to open it that way it's not going to be the right way everything's going to be wrong so I flip it open I open it and this is basically what's inside it stands up by itself it's like amazing at standing up by itself i've got loads of pouches sticker books pens i'm going to go through everything that i've got in here it's got this really deep gusset here where it does fit it does fit tombos and if i put tombos in there and that this is still going to close this it fits so much guys so so much and because I always want to like go out journaling don't I but I, I always think oh I haven't got like what shall I take and what shall I take it in this is just seriously it's ideal so you've got two plastic let me bring you down now so I can show you you've got two plastic nets behind here then you've got another two nets here and then some smaller ones there when you receive the pouch it's very underwhelming because you're like oh but when you start to fill it it's like you know how much you can fit in you've also got this pouch here which has got a clear see-through bit and a net pouch there so let's just go through what i keep in here okay so let's just start taking things out so this is my on the go little travel pouch it came from i believe the planner spot and in here i have a mini uh white out just a mini white out 
I have a ruler every day I'm planner in. It's a really thick one. That's from the planner spot. A lot of this stuff's from the planner spot, guys, from their subscriptions. Then I've also got this knife. This is really good. Like little craft knife. I have also got a pencil. I love these pencils. They're my favourite. Uh, a mechanical pencil. I've also got a little quickie glue stick. So if the backing comes off your stickers or anything you can glue that back on I've got these portable scissors oh so you never know when you're going to need any scissors I've got this washer card which I think is from Josephine Bow Designs and then extra pens I have got well this is a mono zero rubber and it's a mechanical rubber so you just keep pushing and you get more and then I've got a Muji in 0 0.5 and I have a Sharpie Ultra Fine Permanent Marker. This is the really thin tip and that's just in case I um, just in case I need to rub anything out. I've got these scissors, I've got these tweezers in here but they're the round type. I don't always get along with them so I have stuck a, um, a pointier tip just in the back where it's easy to reach but I do keep that in there just for like an on the go pouch I've also got some paper clips there just two black and two white so that's what I keep in my little pouch I mean there's so much that fits in this little see-through thing and the good thing about it as well is the fact that it's see-through so you can see everything that you need so that is what is in this little pouch here and it lies relatively flat but in this little pouch I didn't need it in a pouch but I put it in a pouch because I had the pouch is my little on-the-go watercolor in um, flippy out thing so you get the pen which you can fill with water this is to like um, drain the water you've got this as a little uh, mixing palette and then you've got all of these colors here which I've had a go at a few of them but I haven't swatched them all so I need to do that I got this from the stationery pal and I just think for trying out watercolors this is like a perfect little thing because if you want a blue you can just open this one you know it's really really user friendly and I just thought if I'm out and about and I want a watercolor or something I've got everything I need in that tiny little pouch I've chucked in the bottom here this pen um, I got it I hauled it I've hauled them um, they're little coffee pens uh, they write really really nice they're gel pens and they've got this um, like squidgy soft like thing on there so I've just shoved it in the bottom there because as well as like going on the go planning and things like that I also want to be able to use this for studying um, so that is why if I go to this section here if we, go, if we go into this top section here so in this back bit here I have got my um, Twisby my Eco Twisby it's the rose gold limited edition one I do like writing in ferritin pen but I don't write in it as much as I would like I've got my favorite mild liners I am missing a green I've just noticed I'm missing a green so I'm gonna have to find that because it's a really nice green so I've got those highlighters they're the ones I like to use in my textbooks and things when I'm studying I've got these four Sarasa dry uh, gel pens for if I want to write in a different color like when I'm taking my notes sometimes um, I'll use a color code to take my notes and things or sometimes when I'm planning I just want to use different uh, colored pens i've also got an energel cleaner in here it says 0 0.4 but oh it says 0 0.4 but it's actually a 0 0.5 in there and you know this is my rider die like i have one of these in every pouch i own and then i've got these pointy tweezers with the cap on just so they're easy to get in and out and then right at the back here is where i keep my Midori writing little post-it notes if you like these fit perfectly in the Hobonichi Weeks and the Hobonichi Cousin let me show you in the Weeks 
I got mine from um, WH Smith in the UK, but I know you can get them from, like, you can get them anywhere. See, they fit really, really well. I haven't done that one. They fit really, really well in the monthly section of the week, so they're definitely going to fit in the cousin. I've just got two different styles, really. So I've got the um, little, like, list ones, and then some shapes. So you can, like colour coordinate if you like use like pink for your kids or or whatever you, you can coordinate them I don't I just write here there and everything on there right so the next part is this big bit at the back and I'll just pull it out like this I have got a paper clip on there from the coffee monster co just to keep all this together I've got some um these are my favorite sticky notes from cloth and paper they're the mink dot grid ones i've also got a few kits from happy sherpa papery so i've got the terracotta and these are really really good like little kits you get the four four boxes another four some to do some functionals some today's so everything there for a spread and then i've got a follow your dreams one but I've got two of those. I don't know how I ended up with two, but I ended up with two. So just in case, you know, I want to do some planning forward or whatever, you know, I've got those there ready to go. So they just slide in. <laughs> All right, they just slide in the back there. Now on this side, in this back pocket, I've got, that's just dropped out. I've got these trackers and these todays and these post-it notes. What I like about these is um, they are sticky. So if I'm writing like a big note in one of my textbooks or in my planner or anything, I can just write roughly what it is there and then I can just flick to that page. So I really, really like these. And I really like these today schedule memo pads. I don't know where that's fallen off that, but it has. I just think they're a nice, a nice size just to write a couple of notes and things like that and then I use these um, post-its all the time I've just realized though I should have the month at the back then the tracker then the week because the week is the one that I use the most so I just put those together and then slide them back in the, the, I, I don't like the meshing like when it comes to this because it's obviously harder to get things in and out that's why I've tried to keep like something hard like this hard or like a clip to make them easier to pull out when they're this kind of size but I can see there at the bottom right we'll move on to these little front ones then I've got two ollie clips a big and a small I've got a another washi card uh, just so I don't have to re like if I'm day-to-day -day planning I don't want to reach into there so I just keep one handy there I've got a spare Hobonichi stencil and then I've got two washi cards with like my go-to favorite washes neutral washes and then just on there I've stuck a little teardrop paper clip so they live in there this is bugging me I don't understand what's going on there that's it I'll put them behind I'll put them behind there we go right so that is that side and then we'll move on to this side so in here i've decided to keep all of my pr every time i do an order i get one all of my pr uh, freebies from the grumpy tortoise i have got a discount code for her down below and my pr is so functional for our weekly plan or a daily plan you've got everything you need on there plus a couple of characters and then i did pull in um just some ones that i know that i'll use frequently when i'm planning so willow's pe loki's pe i've got a school club because that covers all clubs I've got brownies i've got a meal plan i've got a food shop and i've got a plan so that just pretty much can cover everything that happens in the week and then i've got these little mini dots from little linda stickers they're just little sample sizes 
got some teardrops and some circles, different colours and they match the kits that I've pulled in that are at the top and I like to have my little paper clip over the top there so that is that top section there and then this pen and then this lives in there and then we move on to the next section and I better off doing it like this it won't stand up like that will it what am I on about I'll do it I'll do it like this because I can do that right this section here has got a little mesh pocket here and inside here is where I'm currently keeping all of my Alvi, not all of mine, but um, I've got all of the all of the things like social media, I've got home, I've got work, activities, health, self-care, they're all on clear and then I've got like everything I need on mat as well and I can't remember who sent me this little um, this little box but it fits them in like literally perfect and I absolutely love it so they live in there I do need to get some more I'm going the wrong way. I do need to get some more clear ones but I just love the fact that they live in there and it's really easy to get out you just have to push it from the other side so that is there and then I'm sorry this is really weird for me because it's the wrong way around and then just in here I've got two different type of page flags I've got these from the Royal Planner I like that they're thin and thick that's why I've got that uh, permanent marker pen because it's the only pen that will write on these and then I also have these squares from the planner spot so just a couple that are a bit smaller than um, the ones that the mink ones that I had before right next I've got this little um I'm gonna have to take it around this way because I can't I can't function that way uh, this is just a jelly bag dashboard that um my husband made and I've stuck some pockets on the front and back and this is basically just all the little samplers from sterling ink where I've already used like quite a lot of their quite a lot of the kit section and then in this one I have the larger size just you know just the larger size of stickers so if I want to whack a floral down I've, I've got these so these are good for like on the go planning as well and then if I come across anything else that I want to add in there I've got plenty of room there so that's that one and then in this little sticker pouch that um, I got the printable from Crafty Licious Loves and I made different sizes this is a small one and then in here I keep some samples that I do want to use and then these stickers here are just little ones that I made myself that I can put on the calendar um, for monthly planning I just made that myself and then also in here I have my passport size traveler's notes book sticker release paper it's the same as these ones uh, but it's pink these ones were a limited edition these are going to be permanent i know they're sold out in a lot of places but if you're in the uk you can get them from miso paper m-i-s-o they've got the big regular size in stock which i've also got um so yeah stock up on them so yeah this will get filled with um you know stickers i'm trying to build up my character stickers to the point where i can have a load in here and then have a load um like because i've got i've got this which is full of character stickers but i haven't got like duplicates or anything yet so i am waiting on that to fill this up and then next i have this gorgeous icon sticker book from alvi planning co discount code for her down below as well this sticker book is amazing i have showed it on my haul i've just stuck some extras so you can get the individual sheet so everything in here that you see like any icon you can get a whole sheet of them but you can also get like a a, a tester a sampler kind of sheet um so this is like a bit of everything and then i've got the activities one the planner one the social media one the travel one the health one and then because i do a lot of youtube i've got youtube and then i've got self-care home and tv so as well as having everything that's in the book which you will have seen on my haul but we'll have a little flick 
through as well as receiving all of these stickers as well as receiving all these stickers as well as all these stickers I just whack those in the front of the little book and that keeps them safe the next thing I have in here is these three I'm all about convenience guys and people that bring out things like this I get suckered in so these are from Wendy's uh, cute creations and they were made for the Palantines festival um, that's the Palantines festival 2023 but I haven't used them yet um, I got a week's one, I think I used that. So this one's a journaling kit, this one's a vertical kit, and this is a cousin kit, and it's literally the kit inside the book. So you've got your four boxes there, you've got some date covers, your date dots, you've got little pieces of deco, you've got habit trackers, you've got functional boxes, you've got your headers, some more functionals. So that's the vertical one, and then the cousin's the same but just different, um, obviously different sizes. You've got habit trackers, date covers, functionals. You've got more functionals, two boxes there, six boxes there, headers, little lists, and some deco. And then the journaling kit one is just what it is. It's got Monday to Friday, and then it's got all different journaling like deco stickers and things like that so i just thought i'd keep all of these because they're all the same like style um so i thought i'd just keep all of these in there as well as those other kits so you know if we ever get stranded anywhere or anything then um oh sorry i've got to have some water then i've got enough to go on with i put this in here as well i bought these ages and ages ago and they're actually like oh i just need to get a white piece of is that gonna happen? i'll just use this card thing they're actually quite funny and useful so we've got pets church you got this urgent i deserve it so we've got the scripts favorites to do's and then also you've got large numbers and then you've got small numbers as well so i just thought rather than it be shoved away somewhere where i never see it if i keep it in here if i ever need some numbers or some little clear scripts i can just get them from there so as you can see like i'm not shy about packing this up i'm not shy at all i absolutely love it i am going to get it in different colors because i think um I think these colours, do I want to put that there or on top? I think I'll put that there. These go underneath. Uh, I think different colours because like the cream, like although I love cream, it does get dirty really, really quick. But, but that that's, that's it guys and it will fit more in than that. I think like these two pouches work because when this closed, this, this goes up to the top there and that one's there like that so i don't know if you'd fit any more pouches in that's like this size but you can definitely fit um you could definitely fit an a6 planner in here if you didn't have as if you just had stuff at the top you could probably fit um other size like notebooks and things like that or if you've got like i've got say one of these coffee monster co pouches if i didn't have the pen um pen case in there and this is basically just got loads of like journaling things so if anything this is where i'd want that to be that would um would that fit yeah that would fit but obviously it would fit but i'd have to lose the option for my pen pouch but there are smaller ones i think that's that's a tad bit smaller that one so i think that one might possibly fit better and if you didn't have all of these things in here you'd be able to get it in nicely so yeah that's the pouch guys in all its glory um i really like it i think like i do like the delphonics pouch and i do like the um planner spot pouch and i've got like 
the, the large pink, large grey, large yellow and small pink in the Delphonics and then the black planner spot ones. But this one for functionality, for going somewhere, um, whether it be a coffee shop, a library, travelling, like you can fit so much in here in this little pouch and that, that's it. That's all you need for the whole of your travels. Like, it's crazy. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, let me know if you did. Let me know if you do go ahead and buy one of these pouches. And definitely, if you're on Instagram and you put a picture of your pouch, then tag me, because I'd love to see how you guys set your pouches up. So, I'm, um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If you got this far, then brilliant. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.